ask you a question, you can just repeat a word or two about what it's about. Okay. So you have three minutes to speak. Okay. Four minutes for questions. Okay. How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, this is my first time at uh, a forum hosted by the uh, 14th uh, Independent Ward. Uh, I just feel the energy in the room. Love being around voters. Uh, this is my type of crowd right here. But anyway, my name is William Parker. I'm running for Congress. I'm from the north side of Pittsburgh, born at Allegheny General Hospital and raised a little bit up the road off of, uh, Federal Street. My background is in business also an inventor and I'm an advocate for technology. I'm an advocate for economic justice. I'm an advocate for uh, <clears throat> entrepreneurship and I'm an advocate for food security. Um, I'm the nephew of Willie Stargell. Some of you might not know that I'm the nephew of Willie Stargell. You know, I have a, I love this city. I love this region. And uh, I'm a big sports fan from the Steelers to the Pirates to the Penguins. Uh, I'm not here today to sell you on any rhetoric. I'm here to sell you on results um, from breaking down systemic barriers to building smart businesses. I'm putting in the work right now and I'm here to prove that to you today. Some of you may know me because I ran uh, for Pittsburgh mayor last year in 2021. I was actually the first uh, black male to enter the race. And I think that that led to the encouragement of my fellow uh, Ed Ganey jumping in after, which essentially led to uh, the first black male being elected. And I don't know who's happy about that or who's not, but I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty proud because I think it was time for change. I think we needed something uh, different. Uh, so, you know, I I'm here today. And uh, I want to answer your questions and offer as many solutions as I can. Thank you. Come on, I need some questions. Ask me something. Please ask me something. Absolutely. Entrepreneurship is when, oh, so he, he wants to know what sets me apart from the rest of the candidates. Uh, Mark, Mike Doyle was a good candidate and we have some candidates in the race right now and it's pretty competitive, but he wants to know what's the difference between me. So the difference is between me is I really believe in economic justice. I believe in entrepreneurship and I believe in technology. Pittsburgh is booming right now in technology, and I want to make sure that everyone is able to be a part of this new uh, uh, sector. Uh, I, I think I, I'm huge on diversity, and I just want everybody to be involved. From uh, I, I believe that there's a lot of infrastructure money out here right now, and it's all about, to me, it's all about what can be done in these next two years. What's what, what's feasible? Uh, you know, I, I I hear a lot of concerns for climate and the environment, and I'm for all of those. But my thing is, there's federal infrastructure money readily available right now, and I would like to put that into the hands of uh, diversified entrepreneurs. You know, so they can create electric cars right here. We could de design electric cars right here in, in this region. I would also like to encourage entrepreneurs uh, so they could get licenses uh, so they could be contracting involved with the rebuilding of our bridges. I think that's a key initiative we should all be a part of because these bridges that we cross reflect all of us who live in this community. I also would like to see uh, some money being uh, invested in entrepreneurs so they can uh, start up businesses to help people charge their vehicles, electric charging charging stations on a uh, turnpike and things like that. I, I, I'm, I have a creative man and I just wanna make sure that everybody in the community is involved with our growth. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, there's good police out here. Let's, let's just start off with that. There's good police out here and, and some abuse their authority. You know, what happened to George Floyd is unfortunate. 
uh, you know, he wasn't the first one this has happened to. You know, it's a shame, but we have to address this. Any le legislation put forward, I would uh, carefully consider and read over it. And, uh, you know, if, if it's beneficial for us and our community, which helps us reduce the harms to people and residents in our community, I would be for it. Yes. Gun safety. So she wants to know uh, how I feel about gun safety. I think, uh, you know, I think everyone has the right to bear arms. Uh, but I think that, again, there's people out here who are abusing the system. Uh, I would like to reduce the fear. There's too much fear out, of, out here. You know, everybody, they, they, they trying to scare people. You know, I, I, don't, I don't walk outside thinking that something is negative is going to happen to me. You know, so if there's a way that we could promote um, a, a, a sense of confidence that, uh, you know, our, our, our streets are safe and it's safe to go outside into the community, uh, I would be for that because it's, it's just too much fear. And I think that that's what leads to the uh, abuse of weapons. And then, you know, we have to have the legislation. Everybody's at, at, at different odds with that. You know, some people are for guns, some people aren't for them. I per personally believe that uh, th th there's not really a, a need to abuse the right for, for weapons. So with that, Right over here. Okay, I would shift that money. I would make sure that we, uh, that funding that's going out, uh, build back better. Uh, when that passes, the infrastructure money, there's money out here also, also from the American Rescue Plan. That's what I pay attention to. I pay attention to the economics. I'm a businessman. And I understand the need uh, that that money uh, has to come into our communities and it has to be available for everyone. Whoever wants to be an entrepreneur, whoever wants to make use of that money, I think that uh, we need to make that available to them so they can create things, so they can design things. There's people in here right now with ideas, you know, and it doesn't matter if you're young or you're old. We need those ideas that come to the forefront. If you have any ideas out there, if you're interested in finding a solution for something like with this gentleman, just the question this gentleman asked, bring them to me. I wanna talk about this on my campaign trail because I think it's very important. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank the uh, 14th War uh, Democratic uh, Club. Thanks for having me.